So you're thinking about buying a Ford F-150 and you're thinking, oh my goodness, there's a whole lot of engine options. Well, I am here to help debunk one specific engine and that is going to be the 3.5 power boost found in the new 2021 Ford F-150. I do want to let you know that we are going to have everything linked down below. So we'll have little time cards and little chapters so you can kind of bounce around and, and things like that. Now I will tell you that I'm not going to go into all of the details like I did in a previous video where I talk about the 3 3.5 EcoBoost because a lot of this technology is directly carried over from the EcoBoost into the Power Boost. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that video, I would recommend that you uh, pause this video, go watch that one, and then come back to here and it'll make a lot more sense. I'll have that video linked down below as well. But let's just go ahead and hit the higher levels of the motor and then we're going to really dive into the hybrid version of this Power Boost as well. So first thing I want to do is let's just give you like the, the helicopter view, the, the 10,000 foot view of what is a power boost. Power boost is a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine with a hybrid powertrain to assist you. Now this is a full hybrid setup, uh, meaning that the vehicle has the ability to move in all electric mode only. Ram has a hybrid uh, in their setup, but it requires the engine to be running if you want to use the electrical. So it's it, technically it's like a part-time uh, hybrid. The Ford F-150 is the only full hybrid uh, setup in the in the truck game right now. This setup, you have the 3.5 EcoBoost, you have the transmission, but between those two, located inside the transmission housing, is an electric drivetrain to assist you. Uh, so it's really interesting to see where they actually bolted that up. But, you know, you have the ability to go in full electric or in full gas or both. And that's what's so cool about it. But before we go any further into the electrical side, I do want to tell you a little bit more of the high level view of the EcoBoost technology. So EcoBoost technology, power boost technology as well. Basically, it means that you have twin turbos that are forcing air into the motor. The idea there is if you can force more air into the motor, that means you can force more fuel in the motor. And if you can do both of those efficiently, then you can make more horsepower. That's what it boils down to. It gives you a bigger explosion in the motor, which means you can make more horsepower. So that's kind of what EcoBoost or Power Boost typically means is you have a V6, V6, so you have six cylinders, and you have a turbocharger on each side. That's kind of how it makes the normal gasoline horsepower. And then, as I've mentioned to you, just behind that engine, you have an electrical component that is helping you create extra horsepower, which is also very interesting to note. As you can see right there on the screen, this is the most powerful engine that Ford F-150 makes right now from the factory but it's not the highest towing capacity. And I was curious on why in the world that is, and I figured out what the reason for that. You know, so you have these electrical components, and then you also happen to have an extra battery pack that does weigh some actual weight. I mean, it, it's not light. I mean, it's, it's actual weight that's added to the vehicle. And so since you have extra heavy components, it does take out of your max trailer towing capacity versus, you know, compared to the normal EcoBoost, which can actually tow up to 14,000 pounds when properly equipped. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and kind of jump right into the electrical side of things and, and kind of give you a little bit more information, a little context into that. The Power Boost does come with one standard battery pack that is added to the vehicle that is obviously not going to be there on the EcoBoost. Now, keep in mind that because of that battery pack, you actually have a smaller fuel tank than what is available in a normal EcoBoost or even the 5.0. So it does eat up a little bit of your fuel tank size. But don't worry, because of that extra fuel efficiency, you can get up to 700 miles on a single tank of fuel. Ford was kind of advertising it that you can drive from Atlanta to Chicago uh, on a single tank of gas, or they're basically saying you can drive a really, really long way. Even though you have a smaller fuel tank, that hybrid component is actually gonna allow you to drive a lot farther. Now keep in mind that hybrid technology really works best when you're in a stop and go situation. The idea there is you have regenerative braking, meaning that if you are slowing down at a normal pace, you're not slamming on the brakes and you're not taking too long, the energy that is captured in those brakes is diverted back into the battery as stored energy, allowing you, when you come to that complete stop, to use that same energy to get you moving again. So if you do nothing but interstate driving, the power boost may or may not be the best option for you, um, just if you're only looking at fuel economy. It's a great motor. We've not really had any issues out of it, and we've 
I've personally you know, enjoyed my experience with that motor so far. But it's something you need to realize if you really want to tap into the potential of the fuel economy, it's best for the stop and go setup of the city life, if you will, uh, because you're using all of that regenerative braking. Now, the cool part about the Power Boost is it does give you little driving reminders and tells you how much of your brake energy was actually recaptured as you're coming to each stop to help train you to get the most fuel economy out of your vehicle as far as braking and accelerating is going. And speaking of accelerating, the whole idea there is to try and get moving with just the electrical motor. That's what's going to give you the best fuel economy. But the only downside to that is that every one of these F-150s, because they can drive in full electric mode up to a certain speed, they have to put an extra safety precaution in there. So when you're backing up the vehicle, there's an audible tone on the outside of the vehicle, ding, ding, ding to alert passerbys or pedestrians that, hey, this vehicle's backing up, don't let it hit you. Uh, I heard someone earlier say, well, uh, that's crazy that they have to do that. That should just be natural selection. You know, because the idea there is if you're walking and you know, looking at your phone as you're walking through a parking lot and that truck runs over you, well, you shouldn't have been on your phone walking through the parking lot. But nonetheless, that is on there. And I don't think you can turn that feature off unless you're going to do something like Foreskin or you know do uh, some other kind of a, a hack inside of the Ford F-150 that I would not necessarily recommend at this point because you don't want to do anything that might void your warranty. One last thing that I do want to harp on is going to be where this electrical motor is located. So as I've already mentioned to you, the motor, the electric motor, and then the transmission itself. What is so interesting to me is that from that electric motor on back, it's basically a normal 10R80 transmission, 10 speed automatic transmission. And so it really does set this vehicle apart as far as the technology is concerned. The fact that you've got those those uh, gasoline engine, the electric motor, and the transmission all in line, I actually think this is a really good design. And keep in mind that when Ford came out with this 10-speed automatic transmission, they had this thought process for having a hybrid when they were designing this 10-speed automatic transmission with General Motors. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. That, mo that transmission was actually co-engineered with General Motors. So there you go. That is our take on the 3.5 Power Boost found inside of the new 2021 Ford F-150. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're feeling like being awesome, smash that thumbs up button. Leave some comments down below. Correct me if I made a mistake, but uh, hopefully I didn't. Or just ask general questions. I'd be happy to answer those for you guys as well. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace. Oh,